What's up? You're watching Tita Talks, non-life insurance discussions where we talk about non-life insurance topics and trying to make them easy to understand for both agents and clients. You're here with me, Miguel. We're very, very happy to have you here today. If this is your first time on the channel, hi. Welcome aboard. Um, if you like this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified when I come out with something new. And what is new for today? Well, we've got a very, very important question to answer for all of you <laughs> viewers out there today. And it is a very, very important and perhaps very, very frustrating question as well, especially for customers who've already gone through claims or who, for agents who've assisted customers going through particular claims. And that question is, from the title itself, why? <laughs> why is my claim taking so long? Bakit ang tagal? What, uh, what's stopping the insurance company from just writing me out the check that I want? What's stopping the insurance company from just giving me the money, from just issuing the letter of authorization to my dealer, to my repair shop, to get on ahead with the repair? Why don't, why don't they just give the green light and fix everything later on? Well, as, uh, um, as it will turn out though, um, there are a couple of reasons that could actually cause delays in claims. Most of the time, your agent or the agent and or the claimsman uh, taking care of the claim will let you know, uh, especially if it's something that you can fix to make the process go a little bit faster. But then again, there are some particular reasons that also are beyond the control of the customer as well. And today we'll be experiencing or we'll be talking about four particular factors that could actually affect the time it takes to file a claim. And without further ado, let me get started with number one already, which is probably the most common that I've seen already. It is a lack of premium <laughs> yes i'm not kidding it's funny um uh, <clears throat> because you'd you'd imagine shouldn't the premium already have been paid when you already have the policy as it turns out there are particular companies who actually allow their customers to file or to uh, to, uh, to get their policies and pay for their premiums in staggered terms that means they pay over a stretched amount of time certain installments over a particular number of months Promos may vary from insurance company to insurance company. Even the insurance company that I represent also has their types of payments. Are you interested in knowing these terms? <laughs> leave me a message, leave me a like, leave me a comment. <laughs> now, when it comes to these payments, unless the full premium, not a staggered payment, not an installment, but the full premium, once the full premium has been paid for, then the insurance company can now honor that deal because the customer has already taken care of their half of the deal and it is now time for the insurance company to take care of their end. But until that premium hasn't been paid for, I know it sounds a little bit greedy, but yes, that's how it works. The claim cannot be processed until na kompleto po yan. Yep, yep, that's part of it. And that's up, uh, that's reason number one, this factor number one. Another factor that could affect um, the speed at which claims are processed could also be, of course, if it's not a lack of premium, it's probably a lack of documentation. Lalong lalo na po sa mga important documentary requirements. Certain types of claims will have different documentary requirements. Of course, some documents would require a police report especially if there's an involved third party that was heavily, uh, severely injured or who actually got killed in the accident. Then there are also different types of claims, minor claims, wherein no one was hurt, no other vehicle was involved, it was just you and a piece of property, and it was an, uh, brought about by negligence. Sometimes you simply just need simple affidavits to take care of things. Some insurance companies have various forms that you have to fill out, certain conditions that have to be met, various different requirements that are uh, needed by the company for their records keeping purposes because of course on the other end of the spectrum insurance companies go through audits and their claims uh, their processes their documentations are also reviewed as well and they want to make sure that they have a squeaky clean record so as to maintain proper standing of course when you have violations in these cases insurance companies could receive very very large fines from the auditing firms that look into them which is why um, there are uh, there are companies that are really really strict when it comes to um, 
processing these claims and waiting for all documents to be in order before the ball can start rolling. But that does not mean you need to file a claim only when you have complete documents. I actually urge you guys to inform your insurance, your agent, your broker, um, your um, your insurance uh, contact immediately the moment that something happens, the moment an accident happens. The insurance company needs to know the exact time of the accident and it's really really good when you're able to tell the insurance immediately punto agad. but of course that may not be possible most of the time but as much as possible um kailangan na i-inform po agad kasi po this gets certain um processes already started pending of course the receipt of the of the requirements and that's reason number two so besides a lack of um, documentation you also have and we're out we're at number three already you also have the possibility of the insurance and the repair center or the dealer getting into certain differences when it comes to labor and costing. Yes, insurances could have their own estimate of the damages and the labor and the parts needed to rectify or repair a particular car. And on the other end, the dealer or the people taking care of the car may have their own estimates as well. And there are cases where in both those estimates don't meet eye to eye. And the insurance and the dealer, etc., would have to go back and forth with their estimations and their reasons and their proposals until they can reach a common ground. Once they reach that common ground, a settlement can be done, a letter of authorization can be released to allow the repair to commence and for the claim to be uh, to be fulfilled, so to speak. All right? So you've got, uh, that's number three, um, uh, <laughs> parts and labor um, discrepancies. And then finally, uh, to cap off our discussion for today, you also have the possibility of claims being filed late, which is in conjunction with our earlier point number two. No? Um, while, it is, uh, while it is appreciated that claims are filed or informed at the moment the accident happens, there are cases where claims are not filed ASAP or the insurance company is not notified of the claim as soon as the accident happens. Sometimes days could have passed, sometimes weeks could have passed, sometimes months could have passed, and in extreme cases, sometimes a full year could have passed after the accident, which, um, in which it's very easy to say anything can happen within that period of time, whether it be a day, whether it be a week, whether it be a month. Anything could happen. Documents that are needed may no longer be available. Pictures that could have been taken of the accident could no longer be taken. Particular statements from particular witnesses at the site of the accident may no longer be there, may no longer be reachable. Baka nang ibang bansa na po yung nakabangga. So on and so forth. Different things could happen in the span of time in between the accident and the filing of the claim. Is it taken against the customer? Not exactly. But when claims are filed late, the insurance company, of course, and the claims people handling the claim have to fill in the gaps. Why was there a gap in between the accident and the filing of the claim? Did something happen? Was the customer unconscious? Were they in the hospital? Nag-agaw buhay ba? Wala bang ibang kamag-anak na nakaalam na may insurance po ang kliyente? Not until nagkamalay po ang kliyente? These sorts of things. And of course, these are all valid reasons for someone to file a claim late. It's just that the insurance company needs to know what exactly happened. Not because they're doubting their customers, but because there are blanks that needed to be Field. And that could take some time as well. Uh, additional investigations have to be done. Certain witnesses have to be consulted, especially if there are particular uh, pieces of documents or evidence or requirements that could no longer be easily acquired. Kailangan na mag ng request sa gobyerno, sa barangay, to get certain documentations, to get certain statements. And all of these things could ultimately cause your claim to take even longer. Two, um, to be resolved, but nonetheless, though with these four uh, with these four factors mentioned, it is very important to note though that 
these aren't necessarily taken against the customer. It's not always your fault. There are some things that are really beyond your customer's control. And before we summarize our points here today, I just want to give a general piece of advice. If you are going through a claim right now, I do apologize. And I am sorry to hear that you are going through a tough time right now because you are needing to file a claim. But when you do file a claim and you're dealing with your claimsman or you're dealing with your agent, it's very important as a customer to ask for expectations. As soon as you submit your documents, as soon as you've handed over everything to the insurance company, it wouldn't hurt to ask, when will I hear from you again regarding this matter? When will you be reporting back to me? And if you get an unclear answer for the claimsman, try to work on the halfway. Um, it doesn't matter if you have anything to report to me or if you need to ask for more time. Um, I would really want to hear from you after this particular amount of time so that I know what to expect. And this activity of setting expectations properly with your claimsman, with your insurance, helps foster a positive relationship. And of course, it helps things flow easily because now your insurance has promises to live up to so that you are both on the same timeline. Wala pong nawawala and the chances of getting frustrated and upset are dramatically lessened. And with that being said, let's go over our four points again. Your insurance claim could take a little bit longer because there's a lack in premium. There's a lack in documentary requirements. There could be a dispute or um, a, uh, <laughs> um, uh, a <laughs> mishap when it comes to labor and costing. Buffering, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then finally, there could be delays because the claim was filed late. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed our, uh, our discussion for today. And I hope this actually allows you to stretch your patience a little bit more when it comes to um, getting your claims resolved with the insurance company. Always remember, it's not always about you. And of course, your insurance company isn't taking out something against you. You are their valued clients. You are our valued clients. And we, just as much as you, want to make sure that we process your claims as quickly as possible. Because you may not have noticed, your claim may not be the only claim that a certain claims team is handling at the moment. I'm pretty sure there are other claims they could be processing as well and they want to make sure that they get yours resolved in the most efficient and most fair manner as possible so that they can get on to the next to keep up their records. And with that being said, thank you once again for attending another session of Tito Talks. Once again, this is your Tito Miguel. If you're looking to buy, looking to sell insurance, lika po, usap tayo. Send me a message on my Facebook. Send me an email as well links will be in the description let me know if you like this video let me know if i can improve on a couple of things i'm a beginner editor as well and if you have any ideas or questions that you want for me to discuss in a later video i would love to hear from you and with that being said once again this is your tito mix always saying i hope you enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>